One Pride family. What it do? You know who it is. Pride time. We're here with the post-game talk. Detroit Lions going to Arizona. When they get the win by a final score of 26 to 23, the Lions win on a walk-off field goal. Wow. Um, this game uh, was, once again, a thriller. As we know, we call these guys the cardiac cats. They have us up and down through the game. There was an exchange of leads going back and forth between Arizona and Detroit. And Detroit was actually able to score with the time running down. Man, let me tell you, man. We needed this win in the worst way. I said, I don't care how you do it. Find a way to win. I thought they would lose. I'm pretty sure 95% of the fan base thought we were losing. And then, so like the Lions, to go and do something that we're not expecting them to do. Now, got a lot to get into. First, I want to start by saying, uh, cap off to the Arizona Cardinals. This was a great game. Uh, you know, Kyler Murray, uh, up to today, uh, pretty much was on point. Uh, Kyler Murray surprisingly threw three interceptions. Three turnovers for Kyler Murray, man. Um, that's unlike Kyler Murray. Uh, shout out to the uh, D D Detroit Lions defense for creating those turnovers. That was much unexpected. But, uh, yeah, this not not very characteristic of Kyler Murray. So, uh, you know, he, he had a pretty decent game besides the uh, three interceptions. You know, he still threw for, uh, I think he threw for three touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or maybe it was, yeah, t two, t no, three, yeah, three touchdowns, right? I don't know. I had to go back and look at that. But he threw for a couple of touchdowns. Um, Isabella. Catching two of those touchdowns. Um, you know, not really hearing anything from or see anything from Fitzgerald today. Uh, obviously, they've done a pretty good job on Fitzgerald. I think he had one target for zero yards. Um, I mean, of course, the, the big target of the day, the guy who we was all worried about, DeAndre Hopkins, he went off today, but he didn't even have a touchdown. I think he had over 130 yards receiving. But, you know, obviously, they didn't lead to any scoring on his part. So, uh, Jeff Okuda, man. This this video is is, is, is mostly and mainly dedicated to you, Jeff. Uh, a lot of people were down on the dunks about Jeff in his first uh, game last week. Jeff did not have a pretty game at all last week. Uh, he was torched. Uh, everybody got a little piece of him, and uh, the young man just got it all on Twitter from the fans. He got it on Instagram, and you know Jeff Okuda, the calm and collect person that he is, the humble person that he is. He said, "Okay, I'll take that, but you know the season ain't over. I got another game to prove myself." And today he proved himself. Today Jeff Okuda had a total of six tackles, two of them being for loss. And he had that clutch interception. In just his second game, Jeff Okuda has a turnover. Up until this game, the Lions did not have a single turnover, but somehow they created three today. Wow. All right, so that's Arizona. I mean, of course, Arizona also was able to get four sacks on Stafford today. Uh, the offensive line, man, the offensive line, the Detroit Lions, they've been up and down today. You know, some penalties, um, some, some, um, you know, some just down, downright idiotic, like, mishaps today. Like, allowing a rusher straight up the middle to go uh, uncontacted straight to Stafford to get a sack. I don't know how that happened. I believe they said uh, Jack Jackson, Jota Jackson, was supposed to uh, slide down in coverage. And when he didn't, he left uh, Peters straight on a, a line drive to Stafford to get the sack. So that's a mishap on the offensive line. We got to tighten that up. Uh, you know, Big V, first game back. 
Uh, didn't look the prettiest, man. Big V didn't have the best game today. Um, obviously, we all paid a note of that holding call at the end of the game that returned Matt Stafford's 50-yard bomb to Marvin Hall for the touchdown. They got called back because of that hold, uh, which left people upset. But it actually turned out to be better because with that touchdown, it would have left uh, much more time on the clock. And who knows what a Kyler Murray would have been able to do with three and a half minutes to go left in the game to win the game for the Arizona Cardinals. So it actually ended up being working out for the best. But at the same time, damn, we can't be having that, man. So offensive line, got to tighten up. Uh, let me give a shout out to the defense. Obviously, I've gone over the, tur the three turnovers they were able to create. But besides the three turnovers... They did a pretty good job containing Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, I think he only rushed for not even 30 yards today. Um, you know, Drake, I think he had 18 carries for 75 yards. Didn't go over that 100-yard marker. So the, the Lions, they've been the worst defense when it comes to stopping the run. Did an awesome job at containing the run. So shout out to y'all, man. Y'all are the biggest reason why uh, the Lions had the win today. And so now I'm going to transition from the defense, and I'm going to transition over to the offense. Now, the offense in the first half, of course, like usual, things were a lot better. Adrian Peterson had a big run, like, for 25 yards, and he was getting eight, seven, four, three yards here and there. Um, and as the second half, you know, the, 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 the Cardinals, they started to, uh, you know, really scheme in and zone in on uh, Adrian Peterson. And they were able to, uh, you know, contain him. And he wasn't able to have the uh, those runs he had in the first half. Uh, Adrian Peterson ended up, I think, rushing the ball for 22 carries and only had like 70-something yards. So they, been, they did a pretty good job on Adrian Peterson in the second half. Um, but the offense... The thing I wanted to see that we all wanted to see, we all wanted to see them target the tight ends more, which they did. They, tar they targeted the tight ends more. TJ Hawkinson, he was doing his thing. Jesse James, who hadn't had a target in the first two games, he had a couple of targets today, and he had a touchdown. And, of course, I got to bring up Kenny G. Kenny G has been hurt with a, a hamstring injury that's left him inactive for the first two games and his and in his first game back he gives the lion a, a better look on the offense we're able to start to really see the offense open up especially downfield and kenny g actually got himself a touchdown today so shout out to you kenny g we'll see what that hap what happens with your whole contract situation but i like the fact that you come back ready to play and that you were a big contributor right away. Because we need that. Now, Stafford. Stafford has not looked like Stafford of last year so far. Not saying that Stafford can't get there. But there's a little rust, obviously. You know, Stafford, he was off uh, on some throws today. That uh, really could have opened things up a lot more. Uh, thankfully for penalties. Uh, potential turnovers. Uh, you know, Stafford, he's got to tighten up. But, you know, this is almost to be expected. Stafford did miss half the season last year, so he's still getting acclimated back to his old self. I just hope that happens sooner than later because, man, we are going to need everything we can get from Stafford, man. But with all that being said, I'm happy the Lions got this win. We are not out of the doghouse. We have a long season, and we have tough opponents ahead. All right? So, yes, this, this win feels good, but understand that we have a long way to go. This team is still improving. We're still working out some kinks on the offense and the defense, and I just expect and hope that as time goes on, we can build the confidence, and we can start putting some wins together. Because I don't know about y'all, I'm getting sick and tired of having to play meaningly, meaningless, meaningless, meaningless games in December. 
All right? We need to be playing meaningful football games, jousting for that division title, and jousting for that playoff um, positioning. All right? But with that being said, great win by the Lions. I'm happy. It's been a long time. And let's see what these cats do next week when we take on the Saints.